Okay, the mechanic did not replace the old hose. He wiped it down with transmission fluid. That's the old hose from before we told him to replace the old hose. He kept the hose I gave him and the clamps like this with the screw. And he put, he never did anything, didn't replace it, nothing. It took nine days to find this hose to put on, on the VIN. I've got the gooseneck in vinegar right now, getting all the lime off of it. I'm going to use a brush to clean it with. I'm using a thinner paper than what I used last time. The thicker paper was just too thick and I knew it was going to blow out. So since I got, I had to take it apart anyways, that's all right, this is a, uh, uh, a special safety thermostat that if for some reason it overheats, it f clicks open and stays open. It doesn't click closed, which I never understood that. Why a thermostat was made to click closed when it malfunctions, which is the stupidest thing. You'll ruin a motor. Many motors have been lost because of that. So this is why I go with these. That's what I had in there last time. The last one was 180 degree, which I don't think was hot enough. This one is a 200. So here's where we're at. Um, I did get it fairly clean down there around where the gooseneck is. Um, the buildup of lime, a lot of it is gone. And uh, I need to run pure vinegar through the whole system, get it cleaned out, and then flush it out again. Flush it with, uh, or just take it to a place and have them flush it after I do the vinegar flush. The vinegar flush and then blow all the lime out that's building up in the motor. I've told them, my family, do not, do not put tap water. If you put tap water in Mexico, into a radiator system, this is what you end up with. That's what you end up with. Rust, lime, corrosion can ruin a motor that way. So that's it. We're good.